Good evening, everyone. Oh, I'm fuzzy. It's because I can't focus. There we go. Right, we're going to wait for a few people to jump in because this was a requested live. Okay, so well, not requested live, but a requested uh, topic. So I want to make sure, like sure, um, that there's people in, so in case there's any questions. Okay. I think I really need to change my sheet. Talking to myself. <clears throat> okay, so as you join in, give us a thumbs up, give us a hello. A heart would be even better if you wouldn't mind. And it's not just because I need to feel the love. It's because the Facebook algorithm basically puts all of our posts at a higher value if it has a heart so if you see any of our posts you don't <clears throat> have to share them you don't have to follow the link to the website if you're not able to but if you could click that heart that would be great okay <clears throat> all right so we are doing the mirror blocks this evening like i say they were hello alison how you doing oh oh you're doing requests i do do requests samantha you should know. You're the one that makes me do most of them. Except, you know, when you say it, it's not always a request. I feel like it's more of an instruction. Truth be told. Okay. I was sitting comfortably. Then I'll begin. <clears throat> so, these are the art stamps mirror blocks, of which I have meant to do other sizes, but I just simply haven't got round to it. These were actually a requested item. Um, from a customer I met at Stamp Magic in Doncaster um, several years ago, pre-pandemic. Um, if I say a couple of years ago now at any point, guys, I will say that is before 2020. So when I say a couple of years ago now, it actually probably means five. Um, <laughs> but when I, it, it was pre-pandemic. Um, and these are for making your stamps face two different ways. That is our principal purpose. But there is other things you can do with them, which I'm going to show you this evening. But what we're doing tonight, tonight isn't about finishing a project. We're not finishing a project. We're just going to go through the different things um, or effects you can achieve with your mirror block. So it's not going to be a big, long, convoluted one either. It's going to be quite a simple um, live because they are really really cool now what i will say is what you can obviously see from your mirror blocks we have four on here all right um is these are really good for doing color blocks okay so for example if you're like so i've got a relatively new set here um if if you're thinking i would like to do a background and I don't want it blended. I want actual um, solid circles. And I want to be able to do it quite quickly. You know, you don't want to get your templates out or things like that. Okay. Oh, hello. Don't drop your ink pad on your finger. Okay. You can ink up your blocks. You've got, you know, so you could... For example do that you know do a, do a few of those and then you know bring in another color i'm just going to work my way up the color wheel you see so i don't have to clean in between now if you were using distress ink not distress oxide you would need to add on a versamark or something or do a couple of layers um because it's just dying. It doesn't have that pigment opacity to it. Okay. And you can just keep. Oh, hello. So, yes, they are mirror blocks, but obviously, like I'm saying, they have much more uses much more whatever Bev to create sort of circles or there is like an oval as well to create certain patterns that you can stamp with all right so that is one of the things you can use them for 
<clears throat> but what we're going to do is we are going to go straight into the mirror block thing. Okay. <clears throat> so to use your mirror blocks as mirror blocks, we're going to need something that is facing one way. Should really clean that properly because otherwise this is going to get confusing. Tell you what, I'll just use a different one because that's not clean. Okay, so I'm going to put the small rectangle mirror block on here. For your mirror stamping, it actually doesn't matter which one you use as long as the stamp you want to mirror will fit on it. So we are going to use. A little blue tip type one here so we're gonna need two super skinny slims again doesn't matter which size you use as long as it fits your stamp on okay so you can see this blue tip faces that way so this mirror block is gonna make him face that way all right so what that means is you can have two facing each other or on your project you can have you know them facing a different direction or things like that okay so i'm going to take my versafine clay now this technique works best with a newer ink pad now i think we'll, i was uh, sam has made it very clear i'm not allowed to keep calling this a new ink pad because it's about two years old but it's still my newest one and it's quite wet okay so you're going to ink up really well your stamp that you want to mirror okay then you're going to stamp it on your mirror block and then you're going to stamp it on your card okay and then without re-inking this one I'm going to put them nose to nose okay and then because both of them are second, second generation stamps so because that's stamped on here and then stamped to a second generation and that one they are both exactly the same tone yeah now people have said to me can you do that with a distress oxide or whatever in fairness if, it, if it's a nice wet ink pad absolutely absolutely okay so i do it again with another one Okay, so oh, I'm just clean this one off here. Now, I won't lie to you, my darlings. It does take a bit of practice, and it isn't always perfect, which is why. Very similar to the reason that I don't heat emboss directly on a project. I tend to do this separately and then cut them out. Or on sheets like this. Do you see what I mean? And see if I can lock it. See, yeah, that's the new one. Okay, so we'll use this little, this little birdie here, who Sam is convinced is up to naughty things, which I think is quite rude. Stamp. 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 Okay. So same stamps, different directions. Come on, that's pretty good. Okay. And it just means any of your um there's a word. Any of your images that are biased to one side or the other, you can flip. Okay? So it just gives them more scope to do things with. Alright? Okay. <clears throat> He's not a naughty birdie. He is misunderstood. 
I'll have you know. All right, so I'm going to do one more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the oval because I want to show you, like, for example, they're all the same. The mirror blocks themselves, so it doesn't m matter which one you're using. <clears throat> So we'll do the same. We'll ink up. This little bird in flight here. Stamp him onto the oval. To there and onto there. I'm just I I am impressed with it every single time because it's awesome. Okay, so this is one of these things when I say or Sam says, but more me because you know when I say, tell us what you want. These mirror blocks were a direct result of a customer coming to us and telling us exactly what she wanted. Okay? They're a perfect example of that. All right. So like I said, we're going to just really touch on some of the things you can do with the mirror blocks. So I'm just going to clean this one off. So what have we all been crafting today? We've been crafting nice things. I do hope so. But I mean, honestly, you need to get into to Sally's challenge. She's about to get Crafty Ninja on us. I'm telling you. Oh, and also, if you have asked us for something and it hasn't come to fruition yet, don't give up. It doesn't mean no. It means we might have been distracted. We saw something shiny and we've forgotten. Or if I didn't get back to you at all, it means I might not have seen it. So, do you know what I mean? Keep going. Keep going. All right. So I want to keep those in there so we see what we're doing. So I'm going to use this oval. So, for example, we were saying, I was showing you earlier how you can create, like, just colour blocks and colour patterns in that sort of way, which is fantastic. But what you can also do... Is kiss stamping which is lovely okay so you can take oh, I'm gonna put it on a block so you see our script background here it's my favorite demo with mirror blocks so if you've seen a mirror block demo before you might have seen me do this because I loves it okay <clears throat> so we're going to get our script on here and we're going to have our oval on here. You with me so far? Okay, so I'm going to take my wilted violet distress oxide. And I'm going to ink up my script stamp. I'm going to do it all over. Okay. And then... I'm going to stamp my mirror block on it. Okay. And then I do another one. And then I'm like, well, I might want the text to go a different way. I want it to go that way. Okay. Or 
I might want a wilted violet text inside a fossilised amber. Okay, so oh. I'm going to ink up my mirror block with fossilised amber. And then I'm going to take my script here. Pick up that wilted violet and put it down on here. And it's all done in one. Yeah. But what you can then also do is take your background that's left over here. And you've got that oval in there. So, for example, if you did that with the circle or one of the bigger rectangles, you could really sort of layer it up. Because that's now fossilised ambered. Do you see? Awesome. Okay. Right. But it's not just big things like your, your, your script background here. Okay, so if we get our larger mirror block, okay, which on the surface, okay, has been made so that you can mirror larger stamps in your stamping stash, okay. But what you can also do so in fairness, this also answers the question, can you um, do the mirrors with oxides? Yes, you can. In fairness, you might even get a better one, depending on your technique. Okay, so you could take... So this is the Doodle Art Blooming Blooms. Okay, so I'm going to grab this block here. No, I'm not. I'll grab this one. These are my favorite. This size is my favorite. Sorry, but it just is. Um, and right, we'll stick with these two colors because this is what we're working with at the minute. So I'm going to go with my wilted violet. Okay. And I'm going to stamp my little blooming bloom in purple and I can go off the edge because I'm not going to have to mask anything because it only goes to the edge. Okay, so it's going to create a perfect sort of blocked layer so if you want to keep everything one dimensional. Okay, but what we're also going to do is we're going to take this smaller little one here. So I'm going to take one of these small little daisies. Okay. And then we're just going to add some of them in, in different places, some over the top. Again, off the edge. It doesn't matter. Do some in the middle, break them up. Okay. And then I'm going to huff on it. <laughs> Just breathe on it. And there you have it. Okay. So whilst, yes, their mirroring capabilities are rather fantastic, it's not everything by an absolute long shot. Okay? Because that's rather cool. And what it also means, for example, if you're wanting to stamp something like this 
in your, for example, in your dilutions journal or something like that, it means you're not having to then cut and layer and put it in. You could just put it straight in and you've got a patterned background, but still with a border around it, if you like that sort of clean edge. So let's do another one with a small rectangle, if I can find where I've put it. Because I've already got overexcited. Things are already missing. <laughs> over here with a little bird on them. It's just because I've, I've left space here, up here now. So, the microfibers dry, Sammy. Oh, well, I've still got your microfibers here from last week, I have. I just want to put that little flower back on there before I lose it. So I'm just having a look. What else could we do? To be honest, our sketchy flower. Let's do one of our sketchy flowers and make that face the other way as well. But what we'll do is we'll do it with the stress oxide this time. Okay, so I'm going to rotate we'll this this way so I'm not turning myself inside out. I'm going to go with this sort of daisy dude here. I absolutely love it. Okay. And we'll go with... What shall we go with? Um, let's go with Mermaid Lagoon. Onto our mirror block. Again, I'm fucking. One could argue, you know, that it's actually even better with your oxides. What I wouldn't do is don't attempt it with archival. It dries too quick. Okay. You need something, an ink, that if you're just stamping it straight away, you can get to about four before you struggle to see it. Otherwise, it just dries too quick. And do you know what I mean? You need an ink that's quite potent and stays wet long enough for you to do something with. Because, you know, you need it to do it. Okay. So, how about we do that again? With must be warm in here. This town's this microfiber's dried out again. I swear. Oh no, there it is. Okay. So how about if we do? Oh, now then. Let's go with a perfectly one of these. Okay, so we're going to stamp that on. Sorry, I am just going to not waste that ink there. Okay, so we're going to put that on. And then we'll get this tall, leafy one, which, to my utmost surprise, has possibly become my most used one in the set because it's really good 
the like foliage building. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the Mermaid Lagoon on that one. So we're just gonna sort of build around it. Okay, so you're sort of like building your own frame on there, and then let's bring in my beautiful script again. Absolutely could do backwards words for art journaling. Absolutely. Okay. We're going to go in with a sort of, I'll tell you what, we're going to take the twisted citron. Ink this up. try to do is just press around the edges and then I'm gonna huff on it again oh lid on my ink pad all in one print Now, oh, come on, that's a bit awesome. I feel I've gone a bit too fast. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, this was really focusing on the mirror box because the problem is you look at the mirror blocks and you see just these silhouettes, okay? Um, now obviously the silhouettes are brilliant. You can use them as your stamps. Absolutely fantastic. But that's not what they're for. They, well not what they were designed for. You should definitely use them for that because it's brill. Um, but you've also got this mirror effect that you can do with any of your right or left bias stamps. Because you can rotate them, alternate them, anything like that. But... What you can also do is use kiss stamping techniques in the different shapes, okay, to create other effects. This is why I think I need to add in some other shapes as well, okay? But you can always build up your stamped layers too and add things in that way. Okay, does anyone have any other questions they have about mirror blocks, anything they're wondering whilst I'm here? Okay, and I'll just put tidy up some of my stamps while I wait. Okay, is there anything you thought you could do with them that I haven't? One thing I've not tried is using the stamp to remove colour from the mirror block. Right, okie dokie. Then let's do it, Sammy. So, if you have this mirror block here. All right. Oh, don't you worry, this paper will be used. Okay. Again, we'll go with something quite vivid. So we'll go up with the Mermaid Lagoon. I 
probably should have gone, gone, gone with something a bit more wet and new. But there we are. I'm gonna get it so it's really covered. All right. And then I am just gonna let that sit a second. I wouldn't try them with, I haven't tried them, should I say, with acrylic paints because they are made from photopolymer, not the gel. Um, so I'm not sure how they'd work, but I can do. I can. I, I mainly just use them for stamping. Okay. Because that's what I like. But I could have a go. For some plate. Because what I like about these is they're, they're stiffer like a stamp. Um, but that's not what everybody wants anyway. So, Sam, did you want me to do a big image? Like a bold image? Or did you want me to do something like the script? I suppose something bigger, it would be easier to see something more bold. Oh, I had a good butterfly on here earlier. And the birds and butterflies set that I was using earlier on today. And then later on, I'll go, I wonder why my stamps get lost. Right, let's take this butterfly stamp from the small, from the regular birds and butterflies set. Okay, so not I won't I'm not I won't ink him this time. I'm just gonna stamp him and lift. Take that ink off. Whoa. wing that side half a wing that side could they be used on a jelly plate? oh absolutely the same way you would use any stamps on a jelly plate so I would say you're probably best stamping in a colour but it depends on the look you're going for if you're going for quite unfairness that's yeah that's pretty good Give you that sort of ghost look. Absolutely. Oh, I quite like that, Sammy. That's not bad at all. I'll tell you what else it would have fit on the other sheet. But never mind. It's not like white car goes to waste in this room. No, it does not. All right. I'm just trying to think of anything else. Yes, it is like a bleach effect, Shaz, but you haven't got anything to get any bleach or any nastiness out. Close up, please. What, of this or of everything? I mean, just exactly how scrupulous do you, do you want to get with my work? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, this one specifically... I mean, I think that is actually super cool. You can really see some of those details. I didn't think they were going to come out. It's one of those things, I think if you had like a wetter ink pad, because like I said, that was drier than I thought, and whatever, you'd be all right with a finer one as well. I absolutely love that. I'll do these ones too if you like. So you can see. On this one, this was the one off the mirror block. That's the one off the stamp. That is rather fantabulous. So. Basically, oh, you said it's fantastic. Um, they're just really good for adding in different techniques, different things. Um, a good way of getting lovely clean circles. You know, if you if you're building, let's face it, we all love a circle. All of us, it's like like a crafters unite thing. Um, we all absolutely love a circle. All right, but your mirror blocks are a really good tool for. 
expanding what you can do. I think I really did cock up, not going to the edges. Um, expanding what you can do with your stamps because it, like I say, it means you the stamps you have, you can reorientate. You can add on stamped images in a different way. You know, your background stamps, you have a different way of layering them up and adding them on, um, which is really good. You can mirror your background stamps, give them a different look, you know, change them about, anything like that. Um, and always, as always, if you do that, we really want to see. Okay, so Sam has put the links on for you. If you're catching up later on YouTube, the links are below. Speaking of the YouTube channel, please make sure you like and subscribe. We are trying to um, get our subscribers up so that we can do more lives on YouTube. Um, everything I've used tonight is on the website. Sam is live in Crafting Together with All Brands tomorrow at 2 o'clock and she is going to be using some of the new transparencies which are now on the website as well and there was something else but don't worry I'll keep you up to date with whatever that was when it pops back in me noggin. All right then guys thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that answered some of your mirror blocks questions. Um, but if you have any more or there's any more Be Crafty products or anything like that, anything we stock where you're like, I, I really would like you to see you do that. So it makes more sense to me. That's absolutely fine. Just let us know. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Have a fantastic rest of your evening. Bye.